All right, guys, so you see me over there on the other side of the, the motor room. I say the other side, like this place is huge or something. But uh, anyways, we went ahead and we connected the rod to the piston, but we're gonna come over here, we're gonna finish putting all the rings inside the piston. So we got the oil ring on the bottom. We're gonna go ahead and let me just pull it back out for you real quick. Trust me, I didn't know how to do this either until he showed me about 10 minutes ago. So if I can do it, y'all can do it. So we'll go ahead and uh, slap oil ring on. You got two rings that one's gonna go underneath it, one's gonna go up on top of it. It's gonna hold that oil ring inside. Make sure you spin it nice and smooth. Then we're gonna go to our second ring. Them diamond pistons are pretty. They're nice. So on the second ring, y'all won't be able to see it because it's very small. But anyways, if you look at the side of the ring, that's how I was explaining it over there. Uh, you got the flat side and you got a bevel side of your rod. You're gonna have a flat side, which is that side right there. And you're gonna have a bevel side of your ring. So your second ring is gonna go down against, uh, towards the rock. So go ahead and slap that in. Second ring is going down the beveled side or the flat side? Bevel side goes Be down. Bevel side down, okay. Just wanted to make sure we were clear and on that. And if you don't put it in right, oh, Dad was just telling me, a uh, motor will smoke like a diesel freight train. <whistles> oh, there he is. Look at him. Ooh. Someone decided they wanted to show up today. Yeah. Missed work. Had to cancel jobs. It's all right. How you doing, Slink? Hey, buddy. You gonna say hey? No? Anyways, guys, so now that we got the second ring in, we're gonna go to the top ring. Basically the same way. You got a flat side and you got a bevel side. If you don't have good eyes, make sure you get somebody that has good eyes. Get some readers. Get some or readers. Some readers. <laughs> so uh, you're gonna find out where. I found it. See it? And that one's gonna go up top. So basically the easiest way to do it, second ring, because it's closest to the bottom, goes down. Top ring, closest to the top, it's gonna go up top. Gonna we'll smack this one in. And then what happens after you smack that ring on, buddy? You're done. You're gonna go ahead and- uh, You're gonna drop it in the hole, ain't you? Well, before you do that, we're gonna go ahead and get a grip, nice little grip on it, you know? Kind of how you, you grip the old lady. <laughs> And you're gonna spin it around. You're gonna make sure everything's nice and smooth. Smooth, feel smooth. smooth. Okay, okay, all right, gotcha. Smooth. You like right, smooth. You now when you go sit on the toilet and then just bloop. smooth. Bloop. You, don't, you don't even have to wipe. Do you? Right can, you can put the toilet paper back up on the roll, right? right? There you go. That's good. Then we're gonna go ahead and uh, set her back in. She's gonna go on to our last one. This is gonna be a very long video, guys, but that's because. It does take a while to put one of these short blocks together. It takes even longer, slapping the heads, putting all the rockers, everything on, valve train. We gotta slap the intake on so we get everything ready, but we will have the motor inside the car this weekend. Hopefully everything goes good and we'll get it fired up because we are going testing next weekend. Get some blood pressure to her, huh?
sort block is officially put together other than getting the oil pan on the bottom of the motor we will get that going in the morning we are done for the night we got all pistons in everything is completely done we've done spun the motor over it is flawless everything's gonna be brand new inside this engine i can't wait to go out there and crack the throttle and have fun with it again it's gonna sound nice and crisp it's gonna have 20 inches of pan back it's gonna be ready to go but brian's over there cleaning uh the top of the uh, tray that's gonna go on top of the motor we're gonna finish cleaning the intake tomorrow we're gonna get the pan on we're gonna get everything on we'll be able to fire this motor up this weekend i'm getting out of here boy darius just showed up it's been a while since I got a haircut, so I'm actually gonna go over there, sit in the chair real quick, let him buzz me up real fast, and uh, hopefully I come out looking like a new man. Alright guys, so we got the heads on the motor, got uh, our oil on our studs, you know, I was telling you yesterday, you want to put oil on it to make sure it gets an accurate torque. We're going to go through now, got everything rolling, and we're going to torque them all down. We're going to do the first torque at 60 pounds, we'll come back around and do it at 70 pounds, and then uh, start moving on, and putting the intake and everything back on.
push it up against that exhaust flange. I hate that. What you need to do is take a router bit. I'm, I'm just trying to have things off. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut me a little notch right there where that socket is so it's set up on there straight so you can get a regular half inch socket up on that shit. Guys, and the reason why we do it in like kind of like a figure eight type deal is because you want to torque the head down evenly. Uh, so you don't want to start on one side, just work your way over to the other side of the head because you'll be torquing down this side or torquing down this side more. So we start in the middle and we work our way out both sides until we get all torqued down. Now he's doing that side. We'll go ahead and move the torque wrench up to 70 pounds. You know what you do the hard one? I don't think that thing holds 40 gallons, doesn't it? It does hold 40 gallons. Where do you store 40 gallons at? Bro, look inside the fucking tank. It's just Fuck. that. It goes all the way underneath that thing. Oh, that's a bench to hold your shit up. stays on, the fucking cable stays on, the fucking water stays on, house payments paid, car payments are paid, insurance are paid. Ah! Uh. Got some little rug rats to feed. You're gonna find out what it's all about one day. I hear you. Mm -hmm. Can't go racing because we gotta pay the mortgage. 
Why would that be on my deal? I don't even know what it is. You can't blame me. You mean how to think about somebody other than Justin? Mm -hmm. One day. Ain't my father on the side of that kid. Good thing I did. Your little raggedy ass wouldn't be here. Mm. Hey, why is my sense out of here? Your what? Why is my crank trigger sense? We took it out of there because we thought it was bad. Oh, when we blew it up? Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Calm down. Where'd we put it? That's gonna be a trailer. <clears throat> Hey, the ones that go through get the uh, Teflon on it, right? Yes. The ones that go through the head? That's correct. Go in the intake. So one, two, there's four of them. Four. Um, where's your... The, uh... Good engine parts in there. Tell you right now, don't be making a fucking mess in that thing like that. You can't do that. I gotta be cleaning cylinder heads, pistons, all kinds. I can't have all that shit in there, man. 